Okay, we are on the inside here. And we got our batteries down here. 16 batteries. 24 volt. 8 banks of 24. Come up here. We have our solar panel voltage and amps coming in. If you can see that, let me block that light. There you go. 42, 28 volts. Here's the Missouri Wind and Solar charge controller. We got that, and when I got get inside, it would be that the wind stopped blowing. She'll crack up here in a minute. Then we have our grid ties, two 250-watt grid ties on its own dump load right here. Where it's dumping that into the grid when the batteries come up. We still got our other dump load here at the top going. It's working off of this one. And both of them is running off the same battery banks. You see it climbing up. Even though I got two 250 watt grid ties running here, the dump load up here is still kicking in. It's charging them batteries up pretty fast. Running it up pretty quick, especially when the turbine kicks in. We have um, nine of the panels on here. And we have three panels on here. Let me get that focused in for you. See if you can get that. Uh, there you go. There you go. That's on my Rode 3024. Batteries is in float on there. That's another one of my battery banks. Then we have another one over here to the side. Let's see if we can get that. There you go. It's in float two, three watts. So, everything is doing its job, keeping the batteries charged, dump blows is working good, grid ties is running, even though we sucking the excess power out of the batteries, still building too much power and kicking the dump load in. But other than that, I think everything is working pretty good. Keep you updated. Thank you.